Hi, I'm Tim, and I represent the Machine Learning for Software Engineering Research Lab. Our lab was established five years ago, and our initial goal was to combine uh, state-of-the-art techniques from machine learning and software engineering domains. But I'd say that right now our research interests are a bit broader. Software development is a complex process involving multiple people playing different roles. And a lot of different artifacts are created during this process. Some of them are considered very useful, like source code, while others considered like side effects. Uh, for example, com commands in commits or a list of libraries used in the project. But for us, all of this is data that we can use to create better and smarter tools to make developers even more productive. We've also launched several new projects in collaborations with uh, the teams within the company. For example, with a uh, market research and, and analytics team, we carried out a large survey of developers uh, asking them how, what, what refactoring tools uh, do they use, why do they use them, and why they don't use them. This resulted in a publication at a prestigious uh, ESEC FSC conference. We're also working closely uh, with the Stepic MOOC platform and JetBrains Academy, which is an online learning platform. In collaboration with them, uh, we're working on uh, better tools uh, for learning programming. We continue to work uh, with the Kotlin team on our large-scale code analysis projects. This would hopefully give insight to the Kotlin team about how the language is used and would allow to improve the language and the supporting tools. In collaboration with the Grazia team, uh, we're developing the key inference framework that allows to inference uh, complex neural models in Kotlin, written in Kotlin. This helps to bring complex neural networks right straight to the IDE. And surely we're working uh, on multiple joint projects with the data analytics and machine learning team at JetBrains. We've expanded our research interests even more this year, uh, launching a new project exploring the psychological aspects of programming. Uh, for example, we are investigating how the user interface affects the decision making while writing code. We have only preliminary results right now, uh, but uh, I think this is a very promising research direction that could greatly affect the tools we use. I'm happy to say that this year, uh, 10 wonderful individuals uh, trusted us enough to accept our job offer. And we even hired a technical writer this year. We interview a lot of people from the outside and sometimes we hire them, but more than half of our team is homegrown. They came as interns and decided to stay and grow with us. And we continue to do that. This year we had more than 20 interns uh, on, on summer internships, and about half of them stayed with us on scholarships to work with us further. This year we also went through a very important organizational change. Our team always had a very flat organizational structure, uh, but traditionally there were some responsibilities that I was responsible for. These include uh, different kinds of project management and coordination, mentoring students, supervising bachelor and master's projects, supervising our seminar and our weekly reading club, and so on. This year, a lot of work has been redistributed among our team members. For example, about half of our team is now involved in teaching programming, both in schools and universities. I didn't take any new interns this year, and uh, most of the bachelor and master thesis defended uh, on the projects that we do in the lab was course supervised uh, with some other lab member. A lot of people showed their interest in improving the skills in project management and coordination routines, uh, in estimating planning and stuff like this. So now we're working to make this happen. I have also promoted three researchers to senior researchers to acknowledge their impact in the well-being of a lab. I'm really fascinated by the brilliant people I work with. Personally, I think this is the most important accomplishment that we've made so far. Looking into 2022, I think that we are going to expand our research interest even more, uh, apart from getting better at what we do right now. So for example, we are definitely gonna be launching new empirical software engineering projects with our internal and external collaborators, and we're going to expand our cognitive psychology and UI UX projects as well. As we like to say, 
let's help computers leverage data to help people program other computers.